This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Shaw with this ABC 10 News update. The latest Cal Fire update shows the Border 32 fire has burned 4,246 acres near Dulzura. In a tweet, Cal Fire said more than 300 firefighters still working on gaining control over the fire. They've been working in some brutally hot conditions. The fire forced the cancellation of classes at all schools in the Mountain Empire and Hamul Dulzura Union School Districts today. The fire also led to the closure of the Tecate border entry this morning. So far, the fire is 5% contained. A man is under arrest after he crashed his car into a traffic light pole in North Park. That crash left the pole lying across several lanes. Another car then hit the pole. The driver of the first car taken to an area hospital. He was evaluated for DUI and arrested later. The driver of the second car was not hurt. Eastbound University has since reopened. A second chance at life for more than 100 beagles that have arrived in San Diego. The San Diego Humane Society has taken in 108 of the 4,000 beagles rescued from a breeding facility in Virginia. The staff will do full exams on the pups to determine if they need any further medical treatment or training. The Humane Society says about 50 of them will go to foster families until they can be adopted. Vanessa Paz has your very hot forecast. Vanessa. Yeah. Hi, Virginia. Unfortunately, I'm still going to be the bearer of bad news. Heat surrounding the county, at least for the next several days. Excessive heat warning in Fuchsia. It uh, looks like most of those areas, again, in effect until Monday night. Today, along the beaches, will top out in the mid 80s. Very slight breeze. Meanwhile, mid to upper 90s, low hundreds for the inland areas. Low 90s in the mountains and near 115, 120 in the deserts. And speaking of the deserts, we could potentially break records there. Not a lot of change over the next couple of days, but temperatures do skyrocket looking ahead to the weekend. Virginia. Thank you, Vanessa. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Chaw.